This week, uh, my sister and dad and, and my two nephews came to visit us from uh, California. We don't get family visiting us too often, so so when we do, it's just a, a really happy time for us, for everybody, you know, because we get to hang out with family and something that uh, we really do miss uh, being so far away from them. All right, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today. I hope you will have a beautiful day today. Uh, beautiful morning. I hope everybody watching this video, all their dreams will come true. But we need to pick some kale, Penelope. Yeah. And there, and I'll play with my mud kitchen. Pick some kale for breakfast. Pretty sad, really. That wow. I think a lot of it has been eaten. I don't think it's a rabbit or a groundhog. It might be just a bunch of insects. But look at all these stems. Look like they've been eaten. Okay, so most of our kale has been eaten. That's all we got. <laughs> it's been eaten by yeah. what? I don't know. Something. Oh, by a bug or by a rabbit? Why is something eating our stuff? One of our most asked questions that we get uh, quite often is, why did we start our YouTube channel? Our journey moving from Southern California, we sold a lot of our stuff, selling our house uh, and moving out here to start this homesteading uh, life, uh, we never intended on doing a YouTube channel. All right, we have some helpers today. Let in. <laughs> Van, Van, you gonna help us feed the chickens today? Yeah. Okay. No, don't. Did you see if there's any eggs? Um, yeah. I'm ready. Okay, let's open this. One, two, three. Careful with the eggs. Don't crack them. That's all. That's the only thing we have to eat. <laughs> I want to hold. I got three. There any duck eggs, Van? Look on the floor. They like to lay them on the. Look on the floor, Van. What? Oh, I Over see one. Corner. I see one. I see one. Van, look. Two. Grab that one down there. There's two of them. Yeah. Wow. So that's a duck egg, and that's a chicken egg. We didn't start our YouTube channel until about a year after we moved here. And it really never did cross my mind to start a YouTube channel because for one, I really didn't watch YouTube. Um, maybe for some how-to stuff, didn't know any homesteaders that did YouTube. You know, never heard of my friend Justin, uh, never heard of him, uh, never heard of any other homesteading YouTube channels. Uh, but we would post often on our Sutherland Instagram page. You can hold them. Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> That's Bernice. Good morning, Bernice. I think when we first moved out here, you know, our, our family and our friends in California never lived anywhere else. So when we decided to move here, I, I think uh, some of our family and friends didn't really truly understand why. I think uh, some people think that we moved out here because we retired. <laughs> like we were out here in a hammock doing nothing. <laughs> So we started to get questions, you know, what's it like out there? What did you guys do today? You know, what are you growing in your garden? And I started to film with my phone. That's what do you need, huh? house. Look at this little house I built. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. This is 
is a big tomato bush. A big tomato bush? Yep. An onion? Yeah. Show your mama. I got an onion! Let's go find the carrots. wood chips are. I was going around filming just kind of really quick clips on what we did that day and I would email 20 different people um, you know all family. Emailing people got old very quick <laughs> uh, so I decided to hey why not I just start our own YouTube channel I could just post it on YouTube and send everyone a link and they could watch it whenever they can. The reason why we started a YouTube channel was for our family to show them why we wanted to live out here why we wanted to move why we wanted to start a farm and just showing them our day showing them our journey oh wow yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dang I got big one I like that too but about a year after we started our channel was when I started to get emails. Really good, you know, really good positive messages from people. And it was just um, an unexpected thing for us. I started to get these messages and then people wanting to come out to our farm and, and us to show them like where real food comes from. And then I, I, that's when I, I, I realized that, you know, it wasn't just our family watching us anymore. Other people were finding us, finding our videos and feeling inspired by them. And something I never expected because I would think, because I think like, you know, who are we? <laughs> you know, we're, you know, we're from Southern California moving out here and really didn't know how to grow any, any food, especially in a totally different climate. And then people are asking us how to do things and, and, and wanting us to show them how to grow food. That's when I realized that we need to keep on doing these videos. We need to keep on sharing our story. But here we are, you know, almost three years of doing YouTube. And I've grown, I've, I've grown to really love telling a story on camera. Look at the baby pickle. What are you guys eating? Pickles. The pickle plant? Mm hmm You like the pickle plant? Yeah, but something's wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find one. Tell us what a pickle plant is, Penelope. It's a little pickle. That's does, edible. It, does it taste like pickles? Mm-hmm. Is it a weed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sour. Uh, I eat this plant, it's really sour. Oh, uh, that's sour! There you go. That's so sour. <laughs> Did it taste like anything? It's filling up. I'm getting low on water here. Get out of my garden! <laughs> 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 Wait, what the? What is it doing? It's a caterpillar, but he has hair on him that will sting you. <gasps> break out in a rash. Yeah. You guys are saving beans? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Sow the Land. And, uh, yeah, let's keep doing it. Let's keep moving. All you other homesteaders keep inspiring. Uh, people are listening, people are watching, and people are feeling inspired by everybody. Mm -hmm.